Please be aware the course is this not is a free call information and method with, with regards to the government's new replacement boiler scheme. We believe you may be entitled to a replacement boiler. If you qualify, then you're entitled to this replacement boiler. And what's more, if you apply now, you could have it replaced free of charge before Christmas. To qualify, you must be either earning yes, less than £15,900 per year. Call is now first in line and will be answered by the next available representative. Thank you for your patience. Hello, hello. you free to Andre at the Energy Saving Team. How can I help you? Hello there, boy. I just got a call from you. Can you help me? Yeah, that's fine. Are you interested to see if you qualify for the free boiler? We can try for that. We can try for that. I got rid of the last boiler, but I can do with a new one, yes? Yeah, um, can I take a few details to see if I qualify? You can take the details if you like. Yeah, fantastic. I'll get a postcode, please, mate. Uh, 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 November Echo 24. Uh, for a Bravo uniform. Hold on a, hold on a second, mate. Uh, You're a little confused there. Uh, the computer's not uh, working. Just, you can try switching it out, switching it back on again. It's, good. it's, it's fine now, it just stops for a little bit. It's That's alright. Right. Right. November Echo. 2-4. Yep. 4 Bravo Uniform. 4 Bravo Uniform, wicked. Plessy Road? That's right, number 797. 797, wicked. That's the one. And what's your name, sir? What name would you like to call me? <laughs> <laughs> what do my well, friends you, call me or it? your name your, what, do you, what are you known as your first name and your surname oh oh the, f the first name Robert yep and the second name Nut Nut or Nat Nut N-U-T-T -T. Okay. yep and just the best number to contact you on it is indeed fantastic yeah, you me <laughs> and what's your date of birth date of birth is the first Yep. The 4th. Yep. 1971. 71. No jokes about me being old or anything, mind. <laughs> Why not? I'll leave it. <laughs> and you're a homeowner? I'm not a homo, no. No, I'm not into that if you're trying to come on to me. <laughs> you're a private tenant? Oh, oh, do, you, I, do I own the house? Yes, 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 we built the house and we're, we're living in it. It's ours. <laughs> And what's the type of property of it? It's, well, be classed as a tower, so they reckon, at the local council. That's how they got me down for a council tax. But it's only got one floor. If that makes any sense to you. But for a council tax, they call it a tower. I don't know. A tower? Okay. It must be because of the basement. The basement goes down three levels, see? Oh, okay. Um, so what is it? Is it classed as a house or bungalow or well, they're classing it as a tower for council tax purposes like I say it's bungalow when you're coming up to it but we have like three subterranean levels for the basement and they're classing the whole thing even what's underground as being a tower so you know work it out for okay. yourself I don't bloody know uh, fair enough Strange. <laughs> how, how many bedrooms have you got well we, we only have the one bedroom really oh, okay. I mean we've got the bedrooms downstairs but they're just for the games and stuff you know yeah, yeah, I see, yeah, that's fine. And you employed, Robert? Not anymore. No, no, I had a nasty accident. Oh, okay, and do you receive any benefits? I do, yes, yes. Which ones do you receive? Why, well, I, I couldn't tell you, off the top of my head, I'm blue and egg. I, I'm getting the, the benefits for my injuries. What happened was there's a tree that fell and landed on my testicles, and it's very difficult now. Oh, you know, no. They're the size of watermelon, well, oranges anyway. It's difficult, so I can't work anymore. I had to stop the working, and, uh, you know, it's been hard. Oh, well, it hasn't been hard, actually, since then, but it's been hard, you know, living with it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, yeah. Do you, not, do you not remember any benefits you receive? How, oh, how? Yeah, I, I get something, is it, um, what, did, what did they call it? He changed the name of it, didn't they? Oh, God. Uh, he was getting a disability for his testicular problem, but they changed the name of it now. I can't remember a new name. Attendance? No, no, I don't think. Oh, I think I might get that. Oh, I think I do. Attendance. Yeah, we'll have that. We'll have that then. Okay. Any other benefits at all? But the wife deals with all my financial things now because I can't go very far. But you know, uh, like there may be something, something else we're getting. 
housing benefit? No, don't get none of that. Wish I bloody did. I'd, if I just rented, I'd have gotten all that. Yeah. Do you have any children under the age of 16? No, oh, good God, no. Hate the damn things. Hate them. <laughs> don't like animals either. No. Okay. She'll be putting the zoos at birth, I think. Yeah, I think. fit for them these days. We see them, you know. They pass by over yonder, and we see them. And if I still had, you know, the armory, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you not do you not remember any other benefits you received? Do you not receive? Oh, yeah, like the wife deals with it. Just I know what's to do with my accident, and I can't work anymore. And they said, and they had me for an interrogation to see if I could do anything. And you know, when they interrogated me, they decided, oh no, your testicles are way too big. <laughs> they, they commented on them. <laughs> they commented on them, wondering why I had something down my trousers. I had to show them because you know they wouldn't believe me. They thought I was just putting it on or something when they were interrogating me. But when they had a squeeze, they knew they were real. <laughs> do you not get income support? Oh, I think I do. Oh, that rings a bell. That rings a bell. That says I see not on one of the the forms they send out. Oh, okay. You no, know, the booklets. Okay, that's fine. And so, are you registered as disabled? Are you? Oh, are are. Well, you don't have a bit of walk again, not, not properly anyway, you can walk a few feet, but you know, you, you try walking when you've got something like this between your legs, I'll tell you. It's yeah, not yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have Are to you sit half the day with a bowl of warm water just to soothe the pain. Yeah, yeah. So I'm doing now. Get here, the water. I'm soothing them. Oh, okay. A bowl of warm water does wonders for you, sir, wonders for you. Takes down the swelling a wee bit, but not too much, really. I could do with them taking down a bit more. I thought about liposuction, see if that'll work, maybe. Maybe. Well, you don't know. <laughs> Are you planning to move home in the next five years? I doubt it. No. And I do you know the age of your boiler at the moment? Sorry? Do you know how old your boiler is you got at the, the moment? The boiler packed up, so we ripped it out and chucked it away. Okay. It's probably still outside in the yard. And would you be Bloody interested in having a new boiler fitter? Sorry? Would you be happy to have a new boiler fitted if you do oh, qualify for one? Yeah, and happy Arr. to receive a phone call? Sorry? Would you be happy to re receive a phone call if you do qualify? A phone call? What, what's the phone call about? I mean, I'll pass your, your details through to an advisor and he'll take a look at it to see if you do qualify. And if you, you want do, to have a look at what, my testicle or, or what? Your your application. Well, the application. Oh yeah, I can apply it. All right, yeah, I think we can do that. Yeah, and can I take a password from you, just so when we do ring you back, you can quote it back to you, um, just so you know you're dealing with the same people. Oh, blew it out a password. I tell you what, a lot of my friends, they got a nickname for me. Now it's a bad word, but I'm going to tell you anyway. We'll use that as a password. Bastard. <laughs> okay. Oh, and who's your current gas provider? We, we got gas turned off. Oh, okay. We got rid of the boiler, the boiler packed in, and we kept getting these bills coming through, and the wife was saying I was using too much, so so we got that like, dealt with, because we couldn't pay the bill, so we had to get it switched off in the end. It took them about six months, mine, so we got six months from gas fire before they switched us off, so we got free gas, but uh, well, we couldn't pay it, so that was the end of that. Okay, so what about your electricity? Who's your electricity um, provider? Well, we still have electricity. We get that from Neeb, I think. Company called Neeb. Neeb. November Echo Echo Bravo. So we get that from. Okay, and how much There's you spend a good deal. They only put their prices up by 9%, so that's not too bad. Yeah. How much you what spend do you, What do you think about the rest of them? All these bills going up 10% and 12% and all that? I think it's a joke, to be honest. What are we going to do about that? I don't know. It's nothing you can do, really. Oh, we should I, get it's a joke. I mean, it, there is a few companies that aren't doing it. All right. Which ones are they? 
Um, I'm not too sure. It's, it's, I mean, like, all the bigger companies are the companies that actually do it, like British Gas, E.O.N. and Power. What should I do? Just see if a guy down into the street or the next house can supply me and run a pipe along or something? Or I mean, you can be go, good. You can, would you be interested in seeing if you can um, switch to a much more affordable... Um, switch? Is that like a bondage term or something? Pardon? Oh, what does that mean, a switch? Switch, and switch energy providers. What, just turn it off and turn it back on again, or...? No, switch companies. I can't reach the switch from here where I am. Um, I'd have to wait. You have to wait because I'm soothing them at the moment in the bowl of war. I can try and reach the switch later for you. Okay. And have you, have you had any cavity wall insulation installed within the last six years? Oh, you last, I don't like dentists. Last time I went to dentist was many years ago now. And how do you pay your electric bill? Very uh, bill with difficulty. I try to keep back the money as long as possible, enough to pay him, I suppose. You know. Would you pay? You got a key meter, or you pay direct debit, or? Well, we got like a key meter. You know the ones where you can bypass the things and do it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And how much do you spend a week, roughly? Oh, about five pounds. Candles help us keep warm because the gas got cut off and stuff too, so you know, we use them for the light. And there's nothing but like you know, weird stuff on tail telly these days, all brutal, correct nonsense with homosexuals and transvestites and all that kind of thing, and cross dressers. Um, so I don't watch that. I used to like listen to the radio, but down in the basement, that's where my wife keeps me now. We don't get a very good signal, see. Oh, okay. Okay, um, what password did you want to use? Rastered, but it starts with a B. Pardon? It names with rastered, but it starts with a B. Okay, have you got any other password? That's not... Are you going to use another password? Well, can we add a number at the end of it? Will that be more secure? No, it's not that. It's just, just something a bit less... Rude, if anything. Right. Oh God, <laughs> I don't know. Something I remember. That's the thing. Can you suggest anything? It could be anything, yeah. But it could be your mother's name or anything like that. Anything like that. We'll have that as the password, huh? Anything right. like that. Computer accepting that. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, okay. okay. Can we have a... Ca- could you make it a capital N on there to make it a bit more secure, though? Like, lowercase a, capital N. Yeah, I mean, when they ring you, they, they, just tell you, they just tell you the password. Oh, they tell me the password. All right, that's good. Yeah, and just so you know yourself, you're dealing with the same people. Right, right, right. So will it be you calling me back or one of your colleagues from the office? It will be one of my advisors who will give you a call back and... It'll be within 24 hours. Right. I mean, anyone that knows me will address me by my title anyway, so... You have got my okay. title right there, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I've uh, got that. That's all right. Okay, well, I'll pass that through to an advisor and I'll get in contact with you in, um, within 24 hours. Is that all right? All right. What's your name again? Andre. Andre. Okay, I'm going to tell them about you, Andre. I'm going to ask her about you find out all your secrets when they phone me. <laughs> right, mate. That's what I'm going to do. Or Right, How old are you, me. Andre? Pardon? How old are you? 25. 25, oh, we're yeah. we, we youngin but starting to grow up a little bit. You'll be discovering yeah. girls shortly, you know. Watch out for them. They're dangerous creatures, they are. Yeah, I know, mate. Yeah. <laughs> they are. They are. Yeah, I know. I'm quite partial to it myself, mind, but, you know, you've got to be careful with them. Keep them chained up. Have a basement to keep them in. You'll be sound. Alright, mate. Alright, you take care now. You too, mate. Have a good day. Have a wonderful day. You go away now. Bye bye.